Uh, this one I, I, I did uh, pay, I think I paid like 8 quid for some V-Bucks so I could get it. Um, and luckily I'm on tier 96, so I've pretty much got everything on it. Yeah, you know, I'm almost done with it, and the last week's worth of challenges come out tomorrow. So I'm going to smash them out, get everything unlocked for that, um, and then I'm going to have sort of sit on the idea of maybe getting the next pass, I don't know. Or you could get a turkey outfit. Yeah, either one. Thing is, I don't see the point, like, of getting the outfits and stuff when they become available. Simply because if you're going to get the battle pass anyway, you're going to unlock, like, a shit ton of stuff. Like, a metric shit ton. Like, I have unlocked several outfits and stuff. And it's just... It's mental. Like, I've, I've unlocked loads of fucking stuff for it with, with just the battle pass. And I've probably saved myself a shitload of money by doing so. So. Brad, get out of the way. Boop. I saw you there. Yeah, there you are, you bastard. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Uh, James, are you going to play Sims 4? I want to see you play Sims 4 sometime soon. Um, uh, Yeah. Sure, I don't see why not. Maybe I'll do like a, a little bit of a stream on it today. Although, to be fair, I would want a, a break from streaming just for a bit. Just so I could like sort of recuperate and whatever. I don't know, like, I like Sims 4. I enjoy it, I love the game, I think it's an absolutely brilliant game. But on console, it's a fucking nightmare. The controls for it are just a pain in the ass. The fucking. Like. The actual game runs really smoothly on console. It's just the controls. The controls absolutely ruin the game. Because it's so awkward to, to like build stuff and do stuff on the game. So, uh, I'm so happy with the progress we made today. Indeed, good sir. Made a lot of progress. I'm very, very progressed. Yay, and uh, no. But, but... In saying that, Robin, I am going to stream the game. Because you, Nia, want to see me play the game. And to be fair, I don't hate the game. Like I said, I love The Sims. But it's just a bit awkward to play on console. But right now, it is kind of my only option. Because my PC can't, can't run The Sims. It could run the first Sims game, I imagine. But I always played the first Sims game on, uh, on PS2. Uh, I, I prefer to play it on PS2. That was not a bad game. 33 for 14. Pretty good. So, yeah. I wish it was multiplayer. I think it is. I think there is a multiplayer feature in it, but I think it's only multiplayer not using, like, online. I think you have to do it. But if a share played... Ooh, that'd be funny. Yeah, I think there is, like... I know Sims Busting Out and Sims 2 and Sims Castaway had uh, multiplayer. I'm sure Castaway had it. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if Castaway had it or not. Probably not. But yeah. Yeah. I'll have to... Um, I, I definitely will stream it. Like I said, maybe I'll stream a little bit of it today. The likelihood is, though, I probably won't play it seriously. I'll probably just put cheats in. Um, we could all have woohoo. Yeah. We could all woohoo each other. <laughs> The thing is, the problem with the problem with The Sims for me is if I was playing The Sims on computer, it definitely wouldn't bother me doing it properly. Like I've tried, I made me a Nia in The Sims 4, essentially, right? Uh, I made me a Nia, and uh, we had our characters, and we, I was playing it while I was over there, and we were having a laugh with it, and it was fun. But there were so many points of it where I was just like, this is kind of getting. A little bit annoying now because it, it was just very draggy on it, it, it took forever to do um, certain things and it just felt awkward as well to play so I feel like I'll just probably put the cheats in and kind of just have fun go nuts build like a ginormous house and fucking have a random creepy man live there and become a famous artist or something I don't know just have fun with it or maybe I will try and do it seriously I, I just don't so I need to get eight kills with my fucking scythe now. Oh no. Water. Boop. 
but yeah. Uh, it's it's awkward because like I'm obviously playing God of War, I'm playing Tomb Raider in my own time, um, and I know that was a game you suggested for me to to stream. But with Tomb Raider, they've got like this expedition mode, or survival mode, I should say. With Rise of the Tomb Raider, you've got like a survival mode. So I was tempted to maybe do a stream on that, see how long I could survive for, see how many artifacts I could get, that kind of thing. Yeah, that might be fun. I don't know. I've got a lot of ideas, but just none of them. I'm moving into action just yet. So I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. Domino's trying to tempt me to buy their shit. No! I shall not. Uh, i got to go to the shop tomorrow, though. I would go today, but I'd have to shower before going. Because I'm really sweaty. It's pretty crap. Is it? Oh, fair enough. At least I had it answered. Because <laughs> I'm enjoying the actual game. Like, the actual like story and everything, I could not care less about. I just like the actual kind of playing the game and, and going around finding all the collectibles kind of thing. Like, I don't know, there's something just very satisfying about the Tomb Raider games when find, going around trying to find all the collectibles, levelling up and getting all your stuff sorted. Like, there's just something very, very satisfying about it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. By the way, uh, is it nice to see the rain today? Fuck yeah. As you can see from my uh, sweaty pits, it doesn't make a difference for me. But it is it is definitely cooler. Like, my room feels cooler as well. Still a bit humid, but it's it's a fucking metric ton better than, than what it was. So, uh, yeah. No, def definitely much happier. Definitely. Janice. Is it still uh, sunny up by you then, Sean? Well, probably a stupid question considering that you've just put Janice, so, yeah. By the way, if anyone's curious to why I've kind of got like one headphone off, uh, it's because I tend to have this thing of, because they're noise cancelling headphones, I tend to scream really fucking loudly or talk really loudly. Uh, and my mum and my neighbours have heard me before, so I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more respectful. Damn, that shotgun just, uh, just opened me up, man. Oh, come on. Fuck off with your shotguns. Christ almighty. Uh, isn't there... Oh, fuck's sake, I'm not focusing. Right. Uh, isn't there forest fires not far from Manchester or something? Was it? I know that, that we had uh, roads melting on us. That was fucked either way. It didn't matter if I went inside then or not. I was dead. shouldn't use the pharaoh. It's just not a good gun. It's a fucking awful gun, actually. But I really, really want to try and get it leveled up and shit. It's just really fucking difficult. Got two of them. Right. Let's see how I do. Not well. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, there is one. Fuck off. Uh, there was one East Manchester, then one not too far away from us. Oh shit. Not the best. As long as you were okay, friend. Ah, damn it. Purifier. At least I managed to kill him. Okay, they're all up there. That 
that's going to be a problem. Well, at least to kill the sparrow. The sparrow will be dead. And the current heat wave doesn't help. Yeah. Well, like, we, we've got a forest next to us uh, where, where I live. And um, it was weird because the other day when it was, like, you know, super hot and kind of surprising weather for us, uh, it was um, kind of like smoking down there. It was it was really weird. We were like, shit, there's going to be a fire in a second. But luckily there's like a, a stream that goes through the middle, so the air is still kind of weird. I have to explain it like this, but moist. <laughs> So, the air is kind of moist down there, so it's difficult for like a fire to actually start. Oh, come on, that should have killed you. Uh, we could smell smoke for a few days, but that's about it. Oh, shit. Fill in your lungs with just the smell of smoke. This is the thing, like, a lot of people didn't realize like how like yeah you know, how how often this is now going to happen um but because of like global warming and shit which obviously let's face it trump thinks it's all a myth because he's a fucking mong um but by the way for also any americans watching i know mong is like a, a horrible slang for like talking about people with disabilities and stuff in wales it's just something that all welsh people kind of say a little it just is, you know. I've all my, like, I've said it all, all my life, pretty much. I, all fucking people in school and stuff used to say it, and, you know, probably isn't the best way to describe someone, but, you know, I can't help it. But, yeah, um, because Trump thinks it's all fucking, uh, fake. He obviously thinks fake news when it comes to, like, global warming and stuff. I think this should be enough fucking proof for him. Yeah, because this is gonna happen like all the time now. Like, yeah, this is pretty much gonna be the norm for for the UK now. Like, this is the weather. It's gonna be getting like that pretty much every summer. Like, getting more more and more extreme because of the temperature heating up and on the continent and everything like that. So, not good. Well, apparently they were all arson. Well, that's fun. Oh, you twat! Fucking people with their damn shotguns. Oh, go away! Fucking get some skill at the game. Fucking shotgunning, sex driving robot piece of shit. That's a weird insult. Oh shit. Um, I don't think this has happened in the UK at all. No, well, like. Last year, the temperature, when we did have good days, had rose by, like, I think a degree. This year, this is not, this wasn't, this wasn't only the longest period of time that we had had, like, hot weather. It was the, it was the hottest. We went from being in, like, I think it was, like, the bottom six, uh, like, hot countries in the world. Because we were always, like, quite close to the bottom. Out of all the countries in the world, we were always quite close to the bottom. Like, in, like, the bottom six or ten or something. We've now rose pretty much, pretty cl close to the top. Not like top, 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 but you get what I mean, like top ten, I'd say. You know, which is a fucking feat, considering that it's the UK. So, weird. Very, very weird. Just after this one fucking summer, like. But yeah. And yes, moisture. Thank you, Sean. Couldn't think of a word. Very kind of you. Oh. Alright, well, I didn't get any kills in my scythe that time. Did alright with a pharaoh, though. Considering I was using a pharaoh. Oop, wrong one. Um, right, let's prestige you again. So I've got to get you completely done again. Let's give myself a pistol. No, I won't give myself any perks or anything simply because it's not going to take that long to rank up the man of war. It's a bloody good gun. Uh, shit, to top it off, uh, Wales is known to rain, luckily for us, and like England, we have reservoir. Yep. It's nuts. It's madness. Right, so I won't be two seconds, I gotta pop to the toilet.
Hello. Sorry about that. Right, I'm gonna try and do some TDM. IC 2247. Sup! Sup, my man. Nice to see you in here. Thank you for joining. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of hardcore TDM. See if I can improve on the crap that I was performing earlier. Plus, if I I want to before I finish like playing this today, I want to see if I can get these last eight side kills. So if I can, definitely be handy. I love that game mode. I like hardcore, and I used to be better at hardcore, but recently apparently I'm better at core now than hardcore because it has been a long time since I probably sat down and and played this game for like a long period of time. So. Side. I don't appreciate that. Right, so we're going to be working on the Man of War, the Messiah. It's going to be tricky though because the Man of War takes forever to reload now because I don't have fast mags. This is going to be hard and I don't have a site for it. So should I maybe work on something else? Maybe. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. I haven't really used this gun much, just if this is the far as I like to call it. I don't actually think it's that good. Yeah, I played for maybe three hours yesterday. Oh, fair enough. Like, the thing is, I love Black Ops 3. Like, I'm going to play the shit out of this game because I'm not getting Black Ops 4. Fuck that bullshit. Um, so, I want to get back into playing like my uh, my competitive games and stuff because I used to play them all the fucking time. And now I barely play them at all, so it's like, oh. Nice. If I can keep this up with double XP, this is going to be a good day for me. Alright. Ah, shit. Uh, I play on PS4, you? Same. I, uh, I play on PS4. It's what I'm streaming off. Streaming off my PS4. Ah, damn. Damn, 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 damn. This is the only thing that worries me now because I feel like every time I get my scythe, I'm just going to be killed off really quickly. So I'm very much concerned about that because I don't want to get my scythe and then just die. I want to get at least one kill with my scythe every time I play as it. But, as they say, I want never gets. Nice. Uh, are you Australian? I am not. I am Welsh. It's just my accent likes to take off in certain directions sometimes. <laughs> no. Can't even imagine. I mean, I love the Australian accent, but... I don't even think I could attempt it because I would butcher it so badly. Oh, okay. He's Welsh. Welsh boy. Although, to be fair, I've always said that I don't have, like, a, a Welsh accent. But most people I talk to are like, James, what are you talking about? You have a Welsh accent. I'm American. Oh, nice. Where do you live in America, man? Oh, shit. Who's living in America? Interesting. Ooh, is that the sound of my scythe being ready? Okay. Give us a go. Oh, I fucking panicked. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, but I'm mostly Scottish. 
Oh, that's cool. I fucking love the Scottish accent. See, I can't do accents very well. The only one I can do really, really well is Irish. But as far as I know, I don't have any Irish blood in me or anything like that. I'm assuming that's Illinois. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm bad with pronunciation and reading stuff correctly. Dyslexia is a bitch. Cool. Thing is, I've always wanted to go to America. I've always wanted to travel to America and I've always wanted to like explore it and get a feel for what it feels like there and stuff, but money and my age have stopped me. Because I'm a bit too young. Well, I, I say that, but I just I don't have the money. Like I'm twenty one, so I could go over and explore America and stuff, but yeah. money at the end of the day. Yeah. Fuck off. There we go. I'm getting my shit back for this now. Oh! That gentleman is going to be very annoyed. Oh, I actually killed him. Nice. Lovely. Thank you, Susie. Oh shit. Nice. Ah, damn. Uh, uh, I don't have an accent and I'm mostly Irish and German. Ah, fair enough. Uh, not, not much war where I live. Sorry. Not much war I live. Ooh. Not much where I live. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, I can't hear you Welsh accent. It's like when I go back to England, people think I'm Welsh because I have caught uh, the accent. Though in Wales, Wales, I'm known to have a English accent. Yeah, well, I mean, like I was over Nears the other the the other day, and oh, Jesus, uh, I was like. Oh, you know, do I actually have an accent? And she was like, yeah, you've got a really strong Welsh accent. I was like, oh, maybe, I don't know if she said really strong, but she was like, you've got a strong Welsh accent. I was kind of like, have I though? Like, I don't hear it on me at all. Sorry, posh. Yeah. Posh! I mean, I, I guess I could agree with that. I don't know if I'd fully 110% like agree. I think you've got an English accent, definitely, but I don't know if it's like f super posh or anything. Uh, I think you both sound English, but with some Welsh bits. Well, it would make sense if I sounded English, because all my family are English. Bar the kids in my family, everyone is English, because everyone was born in England, was grow like grew up pretty much in England. Uh, I have a Reading, a uh, Reading disability. <laughs> See, Reading. Said reading, not reading. A reading disability that messes with my spelling. Uh, dyslexia. Like I've got dyslexia and dyspraxia. I got tested for both back in school and it came back inconclusive. How the fuck you have a test that comes back inconclusive with that is unbelievable. But essentially, what happened is I got diagnosed with it and they just went, "We don't know what to say," which is just weird. Uh, but yeah, interesting to think that you think I sound English, Sean. Sure. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can never hear your accent, it's only when you video yourself you'll hear your accent. I was born in England, but my father's Welsh. Oh, fair enough. But then even when I listen to like myself back, like when I edit videos and, and, and kind of see the streams back and stuff, um, I still don't hear an accent on myself, like at all. So, reading disability, that sounds like dyslexia. I don't know. It's probably dyslexia, I imagine. You're one of us. <laughs> Yes, join the dyslexia family. Click the follow button. No, it's up, it's empty. But thank you very much if you do. F but yeah, pretty, uh, pretty mental, right? Um, I did okay then. I feel like I could have done better. In all honesty, get two hundred kills using a specialist weapon. That's the one I'm working on now, yeah. Um, t -t 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 -t. How much we got? Ooh, six. Okay. One of us. One of us. One of us. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's probably dyslexia. Nothing wrong with that, though. At all. People don't actually realise how diff like how uh, how difficult spelling and reading can be when you have like dyslexia and stuff. Unless you actually unless you actually have it. Because like if you're reading something, you read it and then you kind of go, that can't be it. And then you reread it again. And you're like, oh, that's what it said. It's like you have to like relearn what it like how to read properly and stuff. Because you you. What, what your brain does essentially is it's uh, with dyslexia and dyspraxia your, your mind is working like incredibly overtime so you're actually your brain's working more so you end up reading something what it does is it gets things around the wrong way so it, like it does it with numbers as well like if I see a number 21 because my, my age is 21 on my 21th birthday I might read that as 12 if I'm quickly glancing over it so uh, I don't have dyslexia but apparently uh, you get a free uh, MacBook in uni if you do yeah Nia got one I haven't been tested yet. Oh, the test is simple. It's literally just writing a few things and reading a few things. Super easy. Well, that's a lot of numbers, Sean. But yeah, Nia got. I think Nia got a free uh, a free MacBook when uh, she went to uni because she's got dyslexia and dyspraxia. Which is just mad. Oh, come on. I think there's actually a couple of things you can choose from now in uni and stuff as well. Um, like in college, they have like options of kind of like what works best for you in certain courses. So like um, when I when I did IT, because uh, I had to like redo maths and stuff. When I, when I did my maths class, they were kind of like, you know, do you want a calculator in parts that you shouldn't really have a calculator, but simply because you've got dyslexia and stuff, you are at an advan a disadvantage. So, you know, do, do you want one to kind of help you with certain areas? So you could do that kind of thing, which is pretty neat. i got to be honest. I don't like this map on Hardcore at all. Like, it's just, it's so enclosed that you're going to end up shooting your own team. And it's like, ugh. Right, let's read some of these comments. Uh, I didn't get a free MacBook because I already got a MacBook, but I received a free printer. Same. And free iPod. Nice. I was like, where's mine? <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Damn. So discriminatory. Give the women stuff, but don't give the men stuff? How disgusting. Sorry. Um, but yeah. yeah. Aww. I don't want to go in the same fucking places that my team are going in. I'm trying to avoid my team like the plague because I don't want to accidentally shoot them. But it's super hard on this map because it's just such an enclosed map. Ah, oh, that would have been awesome if I could have got that. That would have been very nice, very tasty. Oh god, that's my body. I'm shooting at my dead body. Oops. See, I normally go over there to have like a quick look and then fire, but I can't because there's so many of my team there, I could end up shooting one of them. Damn. Got me. I think I actually managed to level up my uh, Man of War then, though, which is good. The sooner I can get this fucking Man of War leveled up and with better stuff, the easier this is going to get. Nice. fucking heard you there as well. I knew you were there. Right, okay. I can use my scythe now, but I don't want to use it just yet. Damn. Right. Let's give this a go, then. Oh, you fucking asshole. How? How the fuck did you get behind us? You little sparrow bitch. There's always one dickhead. Just always one. 
Oh! <laughs> Damn, man. Damn it. Damn it all the hell. Mm. The fuck? Oh, fuck me. I love hardcore, fucking hate it on Nicktown, man. It is just horrible. It's not fun, it's not enjoyable, it's irritating. Unless you have like an exceptionally good game. But then again, I am playing with a very low level man of war. It's not gonna turn out great. Nice. I will look at comments and stuff in a sec. Right, let's have a look. Uh, I am in a special class, specialised class for spelling and reading. It's kind of annoying sometimes I get made fun of. Don't listen to those people, mate. People that, like... Because when, when I was back in school, um, I used to be in those groups as well. Like um, They used to be called, like, um, learning difficulties groups and stuff. So I used to have help with my spelling and reading and writing and stuff. And people that make fun of it aren't worth the time of day, mate. So if people are making fun of you for it, ignore them. Like they they shouldn't. Don't give them the satisfaction of being able to make you feel sad or anything. They don't they don't deserve that. They're just not happy with their own lives. Um, wow, I was sitting on my Polish Polish chocolate. Now it's all squished. Well done. All your Polish chocolate has been smushed. But yeah, honestly, like people like that aren't worth the time of day. So don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, you know, don't need to retaliate. Just. Yeah, you know, as long focus on the positives. Like it's hard. It is when like you're in school and stuff. It is hard, but you'll get there. You know, it gets easier. It doesn't get harder. It does get easier. With every day that passes, it'll get easier. Doesn't seem like it at the time, but once you hit like eight, between eighteen and twenty, like I'm twenty-one, it does get easier. I, back in school, I used to get called like special needs and stuff like that, and yeah, that's what they called it in my school. They called it the special needs group. That's actually what my school called them. So it was like uh, more ammo, I guess, for you know bullies and stuff to to sort of throw at you. But who cares? Look at me now. I get st I'm streaming games and and having fun. I don't care. I'm happy. Ooh, I actually leveled it up three times. Nice. So give that, that, and that. Um, hypnotic, that'll do. Um, Robin, with my learning disabilities, I've, prov I've proved a lot of people wrong. I'll be graduating tomorrow, and considering I know people that are a lot better than me, and I've, I've not gone to university. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You can do anything that you want doesn't matter if you've got a disability like I'm not being funny I was born with club feet my feet were facing in I, I walk now I can run I exercise I can do anything I want there's there's nothing to ever stop you so from doing anything you want uh, you're still special to me oh thanks Sean <laughs> um, yeah the teachers make us do pre-k kindergarten and climb uh, kinder kindergarten yeah and climb up the level all the way up to your grade. Yes, yeah, what I used to do. They used to have like these um, kind of like uh, test sheets and stuff, I guess you could call them. And it would start off like really, really basic stuff and then get into kind of like really, really difficult and advanced stuff. And I used to get like halfway and that'd be it. So I'd be about five or six years technically under what I should have been on. So like when I was in year 11, I'd be doing like year seven stuff. Um, when I do like these pre kits, these pre kits and stuff, and I I never cared. You know, I went to college. I did two full years in college, and came out. And I've always been better at like being able to give me like a hammer, some nails, and a few pieces of wood. I'll build you a fucking shed or a house or anything. Like I can build anything. I'm better with physical stuff than I am with academic stuff. And you'll learn as you get older as well. It's kind of like where those kind of things come into it like are you better mentally or physically and that's you'll learn kind of uh, as you get older what where you fit in with that damn managed to kill three though that's good 
Yeah, if people bully you, don't take any notice of them. They're just not happy with their life. And I know it's like a lot easier said than done when people just go, oh, we'll just ignore it. Trust me, I, I know it's it's easier said than done. I went through it as well, you know, and it's difficult when you're sitting there every day and having to put up with some, you know, oh, sorry, friend. Uh, when you have to put up with some, you know, snidey little so-and-so that's, you know, sort of just bringing you down more and more. Just think about what you get to do when you get home. Do you get to play a game? Do you, you know, get to talk to your friends online and, and play games with them and stuff? Like, that's why I, I used gaming as an outlet for me. Like, gaming was a humongous outlet for me when uh, I was back in school and stuff. And it helped me get through some of my most difficult times. So, I mean, if there's anything that I could say, it's just just enjoy every second that you have, you know, outside of it. And, and focus more on that stuff than you do... You know, the stuff going on in school. Although, do focus on, like, schoolwork and stuff, if you can. Like, I didn't do very academically good, but, you know, definitely do a little bit. It's better to have something rather than nothing. Oh, damn. Uh, I didn't do that. I was doing the found foundation paper. Could you get to choose between papers you got higher on foundation? We didn't get to choose. The teachers would choose for us. Um, and this is something that really irritated me. Uh, back in when I was in school, when I was doing my GCSEs, um, I actually got put up to the higher tier paper on my English because I'd been practicing with higher tier papers. And, uh, you know, uh, we got to kind of like practice with like old ones and stuff. Like that. And I was actually getting like Bs and stuff on it, which was the first time ever that I'd ever got like Bs and stuff in any kind of test. I'd always got like Ds or under. And um, I was really, really proud of myself. And then they actually boosted me up to do the higher tier paper, to which shocked the hell out of me, because I was like, wait, you're actually gonna, you're not, you're not joking about kind of thing. Like it was, it was serious. And uh, the teachers actually went, no, no, we, we genuinely think that you could do the higher tier stuff. So I was like, okay, awesome. And that year, they changed all of the fucking questions. They changed all of the answers that you had to put for like the more complicated questions, everything. And didn't tell us until literally the day before the exam. So I ended up then getting a D, but they couldn't, for some reason, they couldn't just lower me onto the foundation paper. They just kept me at higher tier because they were like, oh no, you can still give higher tier go. And I ended up failing it then by one fucking mark. Which isn't a joke, it, I literally failed my English exam by one fucking mark. I got a D by one mark. Which isn't a fail, technically. That's why they have like Ds and, and stuff, so it's not, it's not really a fail. It's just a case of, oh, you, you didn't get a C. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I couldn't care less anyway. But we never got to choose, like the, the teachers would always choose for us. Like we could put our opinion in and kind of go, like they would ask us, oh, well, you know, I think you could do it. Do you want to do it? But evidently they got to choose. So if they, if you said, no, I don't really think I could do it. But they thought, oh, well, I think you can. They'll put you on the higher tier paper. But if you if you did get put onto like a different paper, you did have the choice to resit it if you wanted to. But like you could resit the, the lower tier paper. And then whichever mark was better, you could you could keep that kind of thing. But that was very, very select, like a select few people that got to do that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, same with me. Uh, you did better than me. I got uh, a E. I was on the foundation paper. The thing is, I think I should have been on the foundation paper. I, I don't think I should have been on the higher tier. I don't even think they should have put me on it in the first place. Yeah, you know, there's a reason that I was in like these help groups and stuff because I was, I struggled. You know. I, I, and I always said I wanted to do the foundation stuff, but they were just like, no, we're going to throw you on the fucking higher tier. Uh, you would have to, you have to wonder what goes through the examiner's heads. They don't care. Examiners do not care. The only thing they care about is, okay, this is this kid's mark. Has he got this this grade or this grade or this grade or whatever? You know, that's all they care about. Yeah, you know, they they don't care about anything else. Which is a shame, because, you know, if the teachers were marking it, at least they have some kind of, like, connection. But I think that that's precisely why they don't let the teachers and stuff 
market because they have a connection, so they could have a bias, you know? So, they just don't let them. And that sucks. Yeah! Yeah! Did I like them? I wasn't too bad. I don't know, I think being an examiner, they're probably kind of sick of it. I think what fucks me off more is kind of what goes through the heads of the people that change the fucking curriculum. Like, you know, what goes through their heads? Oh, we have to make it harder. Why? Like, kids in school, this day and age, are going through enough, like, difficulty and they're struggling enough. They don't need more fucking pressure on top of that just because they think that it's better for them. Like, it's bullshit. Yeah, and I think I think it's crap that yeah, see this is what I mean, like this was a fucking rare one. Really. I should have just gone for the six fucking common ones. I would have probably got better stuff out of it. And I got two fucking duplicates as well. Poo. Right. How am I doing for my contracts? Right, fun. Uh how many kills do I need to get with you now? Three. Only three. That's not bad. Okay, you won't go anywhere. Oh, it was you. Wow. So great. Um, yeah. Kids go for enough now. That's why mental health has become such a fucking... Like, mental health has become such a strain because in school you're expected to know what you want to do for your future you're expected to know what like things like what um, courses you want to take or what classes you want to take at the age of like 14 15 like it's so fucking stupid uh, like 50 years ago the exams were easy really lax on the marking yeah it, it was and it's so infuriating because the thing is like they don't care the only thing they care about is they turn up, mark paper, go home. The teachers who are trying their best to help like the children understand what the kids are going through because they see it every day, can't do anything because they haven't got the funds. Yeah, you know, they haven't got the funds to do stuff. Like there there are teachers out there who literally buy curriculum books out of their own money because they don't have the funding in the schools. Which is just fucking outrageous like no teacher should have to buy their class fucking books like that should come out of you know the school's funds and stuff not their fucking pay grade but teachers still do it because a lot of teachers give a shit not all teachers give a shit some of the teachers are assholes but a lot of teachers do really, really care, and they're trying their best to help the kids, but they can't, you know. Uh, my gamer tag is only one man two oh six five. Nice man. Well, um, well, would you like me to add you later? By the way, depending on age and stuff, I wouldn't be able to stream with you, or I would be able to stream with you, but you wouldn't be able to talk. Just long story short, lots of problems from before when I was doing that kind of stuff. Wow. What a prick. <laughs> um, yeah. She. Kill. I shall add you later. It's really weird when you got one headphone on because when you hear like gunshots and stuff in the distance, if it's in my right ear, I hear it perfectly, but if it's meant to be in my left ear, it's super faint and difficult to pinpoint. So, which is always fun. Uh, how old do I have to be? Well, you can play you can play the game with me or my mates or whenever at any age. That that doesn't bother me that much. It's just actually talking in like um, chat and stuff like that. Actually having a uh, being able to talk and and have a conversation with all of us kind of thing without having to type. Over eighteen, yeah. To actually talk, you have to be over eighteen. Um, just because of stuff that's happened in the past. I'm 13. That's fine. You can still play the game with us. You just wouldn't be able to talk. It's like it's just for like safety stuff. Like your uh, your mother, you can't physically give 
permission um, at your age. It's ridiculous, I know, but it's, it's kind of just to cover myself and anyone else that's in the stream. I've also had people in the past um, took one of my streams and uploaded it to YouTube without anyone in, in, the, in the stream's consent. And that stream I wasn't going to put on um, uh, on YouTube or anything because uh, one of the people in there was happy for it to be streamed because they knew the stream could be taken down pretty much immediately when I came off the stream. But uh, they didn't want it on YouTube because they were very sort of shy and the person just did it anyway without asking anyone's because I like big long story short it caused me a lot of fucking headache so <laughs> it was just easier for me to to put those rules in place which sucks but yeah uh, what stream was it it was a very long time ago it was uh, one that we did uh, when we were playing Brawlhalla and uh, I had someone who was actually in the stream who was like I think 13 or 14 uh, joined in at the time I didn't have these rules in place so they came into the party constantly talking and stuff um, and they were basically just talking over everyone else being really disrespectful and not being fair um, and understanding and then just took the stream I think it was me, Tasman, Sean actually Robin I think you were there Tim was there. There was there was a lot of people in the stream, and uh, essentially, you know, it, you know, shit just happens. So. Uh, I would never do that, and I can't do that. I know, man. I, I I understand. Like, I'm not just taking one incident and labeling everyone at that age. Uh, you know, oh, everyone that age is going to do that. Um, for me, it's more kind of just to be safe more than anything, and to also protect other people that come in and join us. So. Uh, I think I was I was I was there for that. Was a lot of us. Yeah, there was. There was I think two people from the stream, and then uh, everyone else. There was a lot of people, um, and it was a headache. Yeah, the video is still on YouTube as well. I couldn't get it taken down. I did um, try to sort of Hardcore. do it, but. The problem was that I had never uploaded a video like that and I couldn't use evidence from Twitch that it was my thing because YouTube doesn't care what's on Twitch. So their idea is if it's not on our platform, we're not going to take it down. So I tried to sort of take it down as uh, like an an upload without people's consent, but it it didn't work. So Because again, YouTube doesn't care about that. So. Oh damn! I died. I died. No sir. Ah! I thought I saw someone. Some bitch. gonna go out the back to see if I can get the person that was coming up behind me but nope shit son <laughs> uh, I'm level 30 something oh nice shit HXD was killed I think I'm like prestige 4 43 now. Be cool if I could prestige today. That would be pretty neat. If I could get to prestige 5 today, that would be pretty cool. But that's uh, a lot of XP, of which you know, I str I'm going to struggle to get as it is. 
So I don't know if I could do that, but maybe, maybe. Get my first card that I actually like, prestige master. That would be cool. Right, okay. That's exactly why I didn't want to activate this. I knew I was going to run into trouble. I'm going to do it again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, I should watch my language. <laughs> Younger people in here, James. God. Have some respect. Death. And another one to add to the death count. That it is, Nightbot. That it is. Jesus Christ, that must have been the most accurate shot ever. Oh uh, yeah, shall I shall I try and go for a prestige today? I mean I don't know if I could actually do it. There's quite a few levels for me to go. I've still gotta climb like twelve levels and then fill the level bar up again. And with how I'm doing don't think that's gonna be very possible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, because I'm not doing the best. So, if I wanted to do it today, I'd have to go for, like, challenges. Yeah. Okay, we'll see how long I'll, uh, I feel like streaming for them. We'll go from there. If I feel like continuously streaming, then sure, I'll, uh, I'll give it a crack. But while I'm streaming now, I'll give it a go, but, you know, if I want to stop streaming or whatever, I, uh, I shall. I was meant to pop to the shop, but would have been a bit short notice anyway. Oh my god, every fucking time I go to turn around, just bullets start flying past me. It's like, Jesus. I'm not going to get annoyed. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba da Oh, yep, I saw you. You, you little bastard! Ah, uh, yeah. I had a funny feeling he was gonna come back and be like, I'm gonna kill you. It's like, why? Oh! Well, at least I managed to kill them before that. Oh! See, I really want to use my talent now, but at the same time, part or oh, my, my scythe, but another part of me is just like, the moment I'm going to use this, I'm going to die. I hate people that do that. That is my only big pet peeve with this game is that they still allowed people to throw grenades pretty much straight a fucking way. Or just random grenade throws. Why? What? Learn how to play the fucking game and don't just throw a random grenade. How about that? Oh, very frustrating. This is taking me forever now. So I might switch to core. But then that's going to lower the amount of XP I'm getting, and uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to get lucky. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a, a lucky game where uh, I do all right. Talk is cheap. Your talk is cheap. How dare you insult me with that? My feelings. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. At least to a second. It's pretty good. Because the thing is, I'm getting like double of everything on here. So, that's pretty much the only reason that I'm fully putting up with it. What was my favourite gun? The ICR is a pretty good gun. I love that gun. But then again, if I could get a lot of kills with double XP, it would help. It would boost me a little bit. Hmm. So what 
I'll just get a suppressor. I don't need that. Let's just take in my range down. Um, right, I think we'll take you off. Actually, my AK. I love my fucking AK. It's like, to me, just the best gun in this entire game. By far. Fast Max. Do that. FMJ, just to annoy people. And then... Hmm. High Calibre would be good. Long Barrel Extended Mag. So this is the gun that I just I use when I need to get kills. Like I just unleash. But I'm still not that great with it. I'm still not that good with the, the KN. Well, as great as a gun as it is, I probably won't be as good as I used to be with it. I used to be a lot better with that gun. And I still need to get three kills with the scythe. It's gonna be annoying. And then I can switch to a different one. I can switch back to the pistol because I really like the pistol. This is the pistol. Also, Sean, if you're still in here, don't forget to download um, what you call that? Uh, Killing Floor Two. Because then you can play the game with me. See, let's see if I've still got my skill with my K, my KM. No, no fucking perks or anything. Just all attachments on my gun. I say perks. Yeah, yeah know what I mean. so good that would have been so good well I've got three kills with it I have missed my uh, my KN see I always die down this alley because I always look down it really carefully and then by the time I actually go out into it I get shot Damn! UAV ready for tasking. Cancel UAV on standby. Oh yes, I fucking love me KN. I forgot how much I love this fucking gun. I genuinely forgot how much I absolutely adore this gun. I think I've actually done everything for this gun. I think it's the only gun I've... Oh, shit. I think that's the only gun I've ever done abs like absolutely everything for as well. I accidentally shot my teammate as well. So it's good. Oh, no. He snuck up behind me. Sneaky bastard. Oh, there's just something fun about the KN as well. Oh, you bastard. You're wearing ballistic armour. God, get out of the way. <gasps> yes. Yes. 